So the question is, is what are some of the things that we can do uh, with our drones uh, to make uh, communications a little bit more effective or uh, communicate with wider groups of people um, or to be able to communicate um, in different uh, ways in different kind of uh, situations that might uh, require this. So um, I've opened up my communications box here um, with some tools that I think that we could use um, on the drone platform. Uh, so if you notice here at the top of the, plat the drone, I have a, a field of Velcro. Um, and the idea for this is that I can be able to put uh, small items uh, on the undercarriage or on the top of the drone as needed with a Velcro strap. So very, very simple, very easy um, uh, tools. And in fact, this is the, the same straps that are used uh, to adhere this box to a chest rig or to a plate carrier or whatever. So um, the main thing here, uh, the main tools here that we're going to talk about um, are going to be a, uh, a, a little um, uh, Uh, the main thing here we're going to talk about is going to be a uh, Helltech board here for uh, mesh communications. Uh, we have a Pi Zero, um, and then we also have a uh, Wi-Fi um, development board uh, that can uh, transmit Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals, um, and then a USB drive, and then an NFC chip and so we'll, we'll go through each one of these devices um, so with the USB tricks stick here um, this is probably the most obvious um, of and easiest of devices um, what you can do with this is essentially sending uh, data across a long a wide area um, that you need to communicate. So the, uh, so the concept would be very similar, I think, to the passenger pigeon, where the patches or the, um, uh, the pigeons were put, uh, notes were put on the pigeon's feet uh, and sent across. And it was something that was done hundreds, thousands of years. Um, and certainly this is something that can be done before. In fact, I read a story once of a hacker whose house was being stormed uh, by police, uh, or raided by police. And uh, to get rid of the evidence, uh, he put everything on a thumb drive and sent it to a friend's house uh, across the city, sending his drone directly to the, into this friend's apartment so, uh, window. So it was kind of a cool, uh, cool little story. But um, in terms of you know being able to share information um, and doing it off the net, we talk about you know other methods such as sneaker nets, where you use USB drives to pass information by foot, um, and the concept would be the same with the drone. So similar to that then, we have is the NFC chip, and I've done videos and um, posts and such about these things. Very lightweight. It doesn't have as much memory capacity as the uh, USB drive. However, if you place this at the top of the drone, fly the drone where you need to go, the drone lands, uh, the person, all they have to do is swipe the um, NFC to get the information very quickly and then the drone could take off so there's no need to pull the USB drive no need to take the data or be caught with something like this or any kind of thing like a USB drive in your pocket should you need to get caught or whatever or should being caught mean should that be an issue uh, so again um, the NFC chip is is pretty pretty lightweight um, inconspicuous and again you could just you could take it or you could scan whatever you needed off your phone the NFC uh, uh, reader um, so uh, you could transfer money um, again with the USB also with the NFC uh, books video um, pictures data whatever you needed um, very small very quick uh, to, to set up the next device here um, is the Dioth, is a, uh, a development board uh, with Wi-Fi capability, and I can do two things with this. I could theoretically I could deauthor, um, which means I could actually um, scramble, I guess you could say, or jam, if you want to use that terminology, um, 
a Wi-Fi connection. So any device that has a Wi-Fi connection, including a phone in an area, um, you could deauthor those things. Obviously, it would be very illegal to do. Um, however, if you needed to do that, um, if you didn't want somebody to be able to communicate in an area, you could send a drone into that area uh, with a deauthoring device and be able to jam their signals. Um, so. Uh, or uh, you could program this to be a Wi-Fi extender. So if you want to extend your Wi-Fi capability, um, you could use this to do that with your router. Say if you needed um, longer communications um, uh, from your router for whatever reason, um, or you wanted to work in a remote area, but you didn't have connections, you could use this to do that, and you would just send your drone up um, to a clear area or on top of a building or whatever. Um, and then likewise here, uh, we have the Pi. Now, Pi can be used for lots of different stuff um, uh, as a camera and in itself. Uh, you could set up a camera so that the drone could sit in an area and be sh powered off. Um, and this could still run a second camera uh, so that you could keep eyes um, on a particular area, even if your drone was uh, out of batteries or, or shut off. So, for example, if you wanted to set up a camera in an area, um, but you couldn't approach that area, uh, knowing that but you wanted to get a camera eyes on, you could send the drone uh, to that area, land, and then the let the Pi run its uh, run its video. Um, alternatively, you could also use this, and this is probably what I would consider is using this for a. Um, uh, electronic dead drop. So again, you could fly this up to a building somewhere. Uh, you could fly it, um, you know, into a, a brushy area, um, wherever. Uh, have the drone land, the person walk by, uh, sit on a park bench, get the data that they needed from the drop uh, through the Wi-Fi connection. Um, then they can move on with their merry way and the drone could take off and there'd be no evidence left behind of that. Um, so that's another way that you could do this. Another thing would be is if you were at a rally or a, an event and there were individuals that you wanted to send pictures of or video of or information to a lots of different people all at once instead of emailing them or having their numbers or whatever, you could hand out a Wi-Fi number or Wi-Fi address. Uh, everyone in their phones could tap into that. Um, and then they would have access to all the data files that they would need. So let's say you had a group of people um, coalescing for whatever reason and you wanted to pass on specific safety information or um, health information or security information or whatever. Uh, again, very, very easy, very quick to pass lots of information to a lot of people by setting up that, uh, that, that dead drop. And then finally here, uh, the next is we have this um, Helltech board uh, for mesh communications. So with mesh communications, you need to have nodes connecting other nodes. And sometimes in city areas or other places, you have a hard time making a connection. And sometimes it's just you need to get one text message through. Um, and uh, you can't do that because there's obstruction or whatever. So if you just put one of these boards um, on your drone, of course with the, with the power, um, you could send this up uh, to get a, a much, uh, antenna up to get a much wider signal and be able to connect that node, if not temporarily, uh, to be able to send that signal through to the rest of the team or whomever you're working with. Um, or you could send the signal specifically to the, from device to device. Um, and in that case, you could send your drone out to a location. Um, let's say there's a, a lost hiker um, and, or um, I don't know, whatever. And you wanted to say like, write a note and put it on the drone. I don't know. Um, or I don't know, any number of things that you could do with communicating um, where they could actually read on the screen what the message is. Um, so, um, yeah, so there's there's tons of different things that you can do with these devices um, and, uh, and the drone. Um, hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Um, I've done some test runs with the battery, um, a battery of this size. 
which I'm not sure how many milliamps it is. Let's see if it says. Um, however, it seems to work just fine. Um, had a little bit of issue with landing. I'm not sure how well it would do in a windy conditions. Um, but I was able to control um, the drone fairly well uh, and be able to fly around with it um, uh, with its communications package. Um, so if anyone has any experience with attaching devices to their drone, um, I'd be interested in hearing some comments, suggestions, or if there's other tactics and tools that you'd want to suggest, put them down in the comments below. Um, as always, thanks again for subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.